How do y'all want to relax lives? I think it's time we play a little Hidden Secrets. Alright, so. Uh, I just take, taking a quick glance around, seeing if anything's changed. I've been cleaning up my area a little bit. Um, a little bit. Still some things to go, but things are getting cleaned up. Seeing if anybody's done anything. We're definitely going to go check out Baron's place today. Uh, I was in there... Uh, nah, Friday. I was in there Friday. And uh, ooh, we might go check out Whisker's place too. He was on Friday as well. Um. Oh, oh. Dang it. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm getting really good at that, falling to my death. I've had lots of practice. Where's my spot that I fall from? I thought... Uh, we're still missing some bits and bobs. I f still feel like we're missing some bits and bobs, but who knows? Wh oh, look at that. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was using TNT on Friday night to blow things up. Uh, we were <laughs> we were hanging out in Fred's stream. He was working on um, the Nether Hub. We'll go take a look at that, too, because uh, did some work on that. But uh, while we're here, let's go take a look at Baron's place. Where's this bridge come out to? Uh, I don't have a... Sh I do have a shovel on me. I was going to say, I don't have a shovel on me. Let's, um... I don't know where he intends to tie into this, but let's go ahead and help him out a little bit here. Where's that bridge? <laughs> Okay. So yeah, he's got this nice bridge here. I, I think it's him. Um, it's got this skeleton shoot me in the face. Wow, is my volume loud? Nope, just to me. Just to me. Uh, but uh, yeah, so remember, his place looks like a club. And uh, he has got a lot of work done in here. Uh, I was uh, impressed by the amount of work that took place. I'm just going to leave that on, run up its power bill. There's there's an oak slab just in the middle here. He's got this lever here too. I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know what that does. I don't know why there's a lever right there. But uh Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Uh I am Oh. You know, he had this all uh blocked off. It I think it was stopping his bed from working. No. 
It kind of looked like it was a uh, stairway. A little storage work area back there. Once again, not a stairway. It's kind of cool. You know what I do? I would, um... I don't know if he wants my advice, but, uh... I would take out those, uh... Slabs in there. And put in some netherrack and light it on fire. Although it would probably burn his base down, so don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm good at burning my base down. But yeah, this is uh this is looking really nice. I like it. Oh look, there's a ladder right here. We can get all the way to the top. Interesting. See, it'll look like a club from above, but it's going to have different heights on the towers. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't even notice that little place back over there, too. There's no way, right? Nope. <laughs> I really need to start wearing my <laughs> my boots again, my feather fall boots. <laughs> Well, it got me down faster. That was my goal. I hope he doesn't mind I terraform that a little bit. I think that's in the no man land between our bases, right? Yep. Gotta collect all my stuff. Uh, yeah, we've been playing some uh, Golf with Friends on uh, the Fret stream. I like that game. That's pretty fun. Golf with your friends. Sorry. I had to change their name. I've never heard of Golf with Friends, but they had to change their name. Just so I didn't confuse the golf with your friends that I know with the golf with your friends that apparently previously ex I don't play golf so who knows uh I'm missing my helmet I'm missing my helmet my helmet Anybody's, it probably broke honestly my gear so this chess piece I have on we got from the nether um like, my chest piece broke a few days ago. Hmm, my poor Depth Strider boots, though. I really need to... Yeah, I don't I don't see it here. Alright, well, uh, I do want to check out this little building back here, though. Before we head off. What's this going on back here? Oh, this is a chicken coop. I see. Feel free to take chicken. Please don't touch trap doors. Warning, raw chicken can cause illness. I'm touching them. You see that? I am touching... I'm touching the trap doors. I touched them. That's not what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yep. 
All right, let's see. What else we got? Um, I saw there's a bunch of work done over here on Sue's place as well when I was on, and we haven't been over there to really, other than look at the heart here a couple of episodes ago. Um, I saw there was a bunch more work on here. Actually, I think I came over here and then I died, right? And then I had to come back and get all my stuff. Pretty sure that's what happened. Oh, I'm out of food. Or I lost my food. One of the two. Oh yeah, look at it. This. this is this is all new since the last time I was over here. Oh wow, I have not been in here at all. Oh, I like the pool table. <laughs> That's cool. Hmm. This looks nice. Look at that. <laughs> There's a skeleton horse in here. Wow, this is pretty impressive. Back side of the heart. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, it keeps going. Oh, yeah. I want to go see that uh, underground walkway now. This is pretty cool. Well, this is under the bridge, isn't it? Oh yeah, I was down here. I didn't know it's a tunnel, but I was down there under the bridge, looking for my stuff. I gotta admit, I didn't even notice that tree was there. <laughs> Alright. So, I gotta get some food. And then, um... And I'll go show you what I've been working on. Well, no, then we'll go to the nether. And then I'll show you what I've been working on. Because I did get some, uh... Some work done since last episode. On the inside of my base. but I can barely move, so I definitely need to go get some food. I'm kind of surprised I'm out of food, honestly. I, uh... I thought I'd grab some last time I was on, so... <sighs> Dang it, feathers! Fine. Okay. Now... Our nether hub's being redone. And, uh... So we all got on to help. Well, not all of us, but a bunch of us got on to help last night, or Friday night. 
Uh, we didn't build anything. We just, um... Well, I know some people may have built things. I just tore things down. And, uh... Like this. I blew this up. With TNT, man, it was fun. Uh, I also... Oh, I didn't eat. You know what? I also... Down here is where our old nether hub was. And I helped blow that up with TNT. And a lot of digging, too. There was a lot of digging involved, but there was also TNT involved. It's all gone. The old nether hub is gone. Mm, I imagine the old, old nether hub also is gone. Uh, and I assume... It got fixed. Uh, not that way. This way. We're going to run down here and check to see if this got fixed. We had an issue with uh, um, chunk errors. And uh, so, you know, I'm like, how do you get to the desert? And he's like, take the tunnel. Fred's like, take the tunnel. And I'm like, which tunnel? And he's like, just go down that tunnel. And so I went down the tunnel. And I'm like, okay, well, how far down this tunnel do I have to go to get to the desert? He's like, all the way to the end. And I'm like, well, it just ends. I got all the way to the end and there's nothing there. And so then he's like, do I have to come show you where the desert is? I'm like, yeah, I can't find it. So he comes down here to show me where the desert is. And you know what? It just ended. Because there was a chunk here. It ate the uh, it ate the bridge, and I'm pretty sure we're past the point. Um, like right here, you saw that little uh, portal back there to the end. Uh, it was actually over here, and oh yeah, look, see, there's a beacon. None of this was here. Um, this was all messed up. This is the wither farm and the bridge. Oh no, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It keeps going. Um, the bridge just ended. Like, right here. Into nothingness. Um, so apparently it did get fixed. I still know how to get to the desert from here, though. Ferret. It must be up. But yeah, it was bonkers. It was so weird. It was like it had grabbed the other part of the nether and overwrote this part of the nether with the other part. Not all of it, though, because... Just bits and pieces. I don't know. It was bizarre. It might have been reading here, actually, where the... the end tunnel was wrapped around the opposite way. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. That thing right there was <laughs> on the left side, or the right side now, over there somewhere, instead of over here where it's actually at. It was very weird. Uh, I guess it's going to be an ice path, eventually. And, uh, just something Fret's been working on. Uh, all right. How do I get out of here? Now we'll go check out my place. That was weird. I swear I saw something in the portal while I was zoning through. So, last episode, I was working on digging out the uh, storage area for my, uh, for my base here, and um, I have since gone ahead and completed parts of the storage area. 
I know I said I was going to fix it so that I could put stuff into this and just have it trickle down and through, and then I realized how much work that was going to be. I don't know what the deal is with this hole, but I cannot get on that ladder sometimes. I'm going to have to put a ladder up above. But yes, this is what I've got so far. Um... And uh, I kind of went uh, bright colors, which I know isn't normally my style. Um, but uh, I thought the purple and the diorite and the uh, prismarine looked okay together. Oh, I threw in a little granite too. Um, <laughs> there was a chest here, so I left a hole. Uh, but yes, this is what I've got done so far. And... Uh, The plan is to, uh, like here is going to be all my cobble, my cobble stairs, my cobble slabs, my cobble walls. Here's my granite, my granite, my polished granite. Here's my diorite, my polished diorite. Here's my andesite, my polished andesite. Now, the way this is currently set up, I could not tie this into a sorting system. Eh, very easily. Um, there's a way to do it, and it's 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 not that complicated, I guess. But it takes up a lot of space, and uh, I have tried to build some complicated systems in the past with elevators and stuff like that, and the the size of everything just gets so gigantic that you can't. You can't do it. <laughs> um, but I think with this setup, with this setup like this, um, I could probably maybe. No, I couldn't. There's just no way. There's no way to do what I would want to do. Um, if I just had two... If I just had one chest high all the way around, I could do that. Um, what you do is uh, you put down your hopper, right? So you got a, you got a chest, right? And so on the back of this chest is this. Okay, <clears throat> and then above that hopper, uh, it doesn't matter which way you go. Um, above that hopper, you put a hopper facing that way. All right. Whoops. And uh, and then um, above that hopper. You put a hopper facing this way again. Do I need that many hoppers? Um... Huh. Now that I think about it, do I really need that many hoppers in this setup? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um what I what I had done in the past was this. So you've got this and this one is the the chain. This is where you you dump your stuff in, right? And so whatever is in the hoppers just continues along the path of the hoppers. Um, the one below it is your filter. And so if I wanted this to... Uh, if I wanted this to just contain 
netherrack, then you use something that you don't use very often, or you're not going to store, like, snowballs. And you fill up the slots with snowballs, except the first one, and you put netherrack in there. And then there's a certain number of snowballs you got to put in. And, um, and so as long as it's only got that one piece of netherrack in it, you can have it send a signal using a comparator down at the bottom one. Yeah, yeah, you've got to have three. Um, and you use the comparator to send a signal down to the bottom one to keep it lit up with redstone. And so what happens is, um, because this is lit up with redstone, it won't accept items. And uh, so until the comparator says there's more items in here than, um, than it's allowed to hold. So it, I guess it turns on the, the comparator. The comparator sends a signal down. You get it turned off the redstone torch that's keeping this one locked. And then that first slot will empty, but it will only accept the items that you want to go in there because this is your filter. This is the lock to keep it, whether or not it goes in. And this is the train that runs the items down through. Um, so this one doesn't actually face that way. It should face this way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of like that. And uh, so I've done that before. But as you can see, just to sort one item, I need like four blocks tall for every chest. Four blocks tall. And so I can sort into this, but we're talking like 20 blocks of work behind it just to sort into a couple of chests. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So I have not got back to that point, that's for sure. Um, oh, yeah, see, now I've got my cobble is full, so any extra cobble can go in the lava. I don't think I have a spot for purper yet. Oh, that was my jungle wood. Guess my jungle woods were gonna go there. Uh, let's do some purper stuff in here. Nobody needs that much purper, all right? But yeah, that's what I've been working on down here. Um, I obviously... Uh, I'll stop saying that. I need more chests down here, and I need to continue emptying out some of my other places. That's what I've been working on. Is uh, basically just finding a spot for everything. And... Um, like, we got the nether rack in there. So now I've got a spot right for nether rack. I can take the nether rack down... Another uh, rack and then another brick can go in there. That'll be my another brick row. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind having the auto sort chest system. It just—it's a such a massive project to get it to work, and I just don't think I want to get it to work. I wonder if you couldn't do it without the bottom trigger, though, and make the make the um, filter turn itself off once it had enough items. It has to do with the signal that's produced when the uh, when the hopper is full, and so you use like snowballs because snowballs stack in stacks of stacks of um, 16 and so you need fewer snowballs to fill it up but um, yeah I am not really sure if I couldn't get that to work um, if you run the comparator out and down and have the redstone well won't accept anything that's the problem never mind 
Never mind. It, it, it can't work that way because the whole thing is runs off the fact that a uh, hopper can be turned on and off with a signal. And you couldn't turn off the filter because then it would never accept an item and it would never work. So yeah, you've got to have three hoppers tall to get the system to work. Um, plus a fourth block down for the redstone to turn off the bottom hopper per chest. <laughs> uh, all right, with that, I'm going to call it a day. So click like if you like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one. And I will talk to you later.